Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an acrylic pour on a vase. And this will be a dirty pour. Now what is meant by a dirty pour means we're going to just pour all the colors into one cup and then pour them onto the vase. Um, I have this canvas underneath because all the excess paint will go onto the canvas and then we'll make a painting out of it. Um, I'm going to be doing peacock colors, and these are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Paints mixed with Flow Troll and water, nothing else. So we've got white. Uh, there's only one other. This is a Deco Art Metallics um, Antique Bronze color. So I'll show you that. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to basically just put enough paint in here to do a 14 by 14 canvas. And then I'll pour that over the base. So that's how I'm measuring how much paint to use. And this is a bluey green. Well, it's more blue than green. And then we're going to throw some green in here as well. So for a 14 by 14 canvas, um, I do need about 12 ounces of paint. And if anyone wants the measurement, I use about one ounce of paint for every 16 square inches of canvas. That's my measurements here. All right, and then here's some, just some regular blue. And we are going to add some black in here. I would love to add some purple, but I actually don't have any mixed up right now. So we're gonna just do without it. All right, let's go back to a little more of the antique bronze. I don't want to overdo it on that one because that one can create like super crazy cells. All right, here's more of the green. And a bit more of the bluey green. Okay, and this is a 16 ounce cup, so we're about there. All right. Go ahead and get started on this. And I am going to just pour from the top here. Start by pouring down the sides and then in just a second, I'm going to pour right in the middle. And before I pour any further, as you can see, there's a cup here um, to raise the vase off the canvas and also to make it so that I can move the vase when I'm done. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour this all right down the middle. Basically, this would be a tree ring pour. If I were just doing this on a canvas. Okay. I think that is good. I'm going to come around and make sure I got all the sides here. Make sure I got full coverage, which, yes, I did. <laughs> and it looks awesome. Okay. So at this point, what I do is I just let this continue to drip for several minutes, usually about five to eight maybe, because it'll continue moving. And then I'm going to gently lift it up by the cup and move it aside and do the painting. So we'll come back in just a minute to do that. Okay, so this has more or less stopped dripping. It still drips a little bit, but we're going to carefully move this aside, just picking it up by the cup and then set it aside. That will continue to drip, and we'll just let that, that just goes. <laughs> and by tomorrow, it will be dry. So for now, 
we're going to go ahead and work on our painting. And this is sometimes my favorite part, although I love the vases as well. I'll always love to see how the painting itself comes out. And I just help it along on some of the corners here because I like this pattern and don't want to run too much of it off. And these are gorgeous colors together. Once again, helping along on the edges here. Oh, I did also put an alert, a little canvas underneath here. It's still got the plastic on it, uh, just to help hold up the middle when I had the base on there. So it doesn't, you know, stretch out the canvas. Okay. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> All right. We have ourselves a beautiful peacock. I love when I get exactly what I'm going for. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'll bring you guys in for a close-up of both of these. All right, we're just going to start with this side on the base. So here's the top. And, of course, there's several <laughs> sides to it. It's pretty hard to get the whole thing. And it will continue to move and to change overnight. So let's go around to the other side. Okay, here it is from this side. This may be one of my favorites. It's really gorgeous. Love all the colors in there and just the pattern and everything. All right, and then of course, on to the painting. Look at that. See, peacock body and everything, even a beak, even the top part. Oh, I can never remember what it's called, but you know, the little things that stick up off of their head. Um, so let's see, lower right hand corner. Up to the upper right hand corner, you can see that shimmer there of the uh, the antique bronze. Upper left hand corner and down to the lower left hand corner. Then of course, our overall view. I'm so in love with this. All right, I got, hope you guys really enjoyed this. And if you have not yet uh, checked out the video on how I seal, my vases. Uh, definitely check that out and also check out the video on how I seal my paintings. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.